What is up guys, Whitey by me here, and today I will be teaching you guys how to perfect dodge like a champion. And if I don't get the dodge down in this video, I guess Jill will become a, you know, Jill sandwich. So, before we get into this, I recommend you change your controls or your action button from tap repeatedly to hold. I feel like tap repeatedly puts a delay on your ability to dodge if that makes any sense. If you put it on hold, I feel like you respond a lot quicker now zombies i find in my opinion at least i find them to be a lot harder to dodge compared to nemesis because nemesis his attacks most of them have a long wind up so you have that visual cue to respond to to pull off dodging nemesis relatively easy now the only attack on nemesis that i find to be kind of hard even though it also has a wind up is his tentacle attack since I can't really see it coming at me personally, even though he does stand there and hold his arm up and he throws out the tentacle. That one is the only attack on Nemesis that I find to be pretty tricky to handle. Now zombies, on the other hand, they attack really quickly. So again, I find them really hard to dodge. So well, uh, like I said, just change the action prompt from tap repeatedly, repeatedly to hold. And you can respond a lot quicker to dodging these guys. And once a zombie is on you, you really want to look at their hands. If one hand is already up, of course, don't pay attention uh, Pay attention to the hand that's already up. Instead, pay attention to the hand that's down. That's down already. If both hands are up, as soon as you get close to the zombie, just press the dodge button. Because when both their arms are up, that's pretty much like an instant. As soon as you get on, them, they're going to just get you for like less than a second. So let's show you what I mean. As soon as his arms go up, just press the button. As soon as they start to go up, correction. As soon as they start to go go up, press the button. And you'll get the dodge like most of the time. If not all the time. But of course you practice it. It's really just you just looking. You really have to pay attention. Really pay attention to the arms. As soon as they start to move, just freaking go. Just hold the button. And you're good. Do it one more time. Now, if you have the knife out and you do the, uh, the counter attack, she doesn't lunge at the zombie, at least for me. I haven't seen it happen yet. But if you do the counter attack, and there's Nemesis there, she will lunge at Nemesis and start stabbing him. And if you have the gun out and you get the counter attack on Nemesis, she either aims at his head or aims at his chest. But if she get if she gets the dodge and she's still in front of him and his heart isn't covered by any of his body parts or whatever, she will aim at the heart. But if the heart is blocked, she'll aim at the head, which I find interesting. So anyway, that is my, you know, those are my tips on how to get the perfect dodge in the Resident Evil 2, or not Resident Evil 2, whoops, Resident Evil 3 Remake. So if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, let me know, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.